Welcome on in to another edition of Smart Chat here on YouTube.com. Hope all is well, guys. And I do want to do a quick video. I want to do an unboxing. A big uh, baseball collective from when I was growing up. You know, and um, baseball cards and collecting really hasn't um, had quite the same popularity as it had when I was growing up. But they do sell baseball cards still, believe it or not, and pretty good buy. Will the industry pick up back up again? Who knows? Hope. I hope. But at the, at the very least, I just do it just for a... Brings back some nostalgia. And um, you get these at a Rite Aid. You can even get them at, uh, I believe, CVS too. Uh, but these are... 100 baseball cards plus one pack. They very, they go for 4.99. So they, they go for a wide um there, there's a wide range of these cards in here. Um new cards, old cards. Uh they, they, these are cards that were sold on the secondary market already. So these cards are in good condition. I wouldn't even say mint condition. The name of the company that sells it is uh, the Fairfield Company, located in Des Moines, Iowa. They uh, it's on Facebook. They're the Fairfield Company and the Fairfield Co. on Twitter. So, that's how the box looks. They actually manufacture these in a basketball. And uh, football as well, I've seen. I'm not sure about hockey, but I've seen at least, uh, in addition to baseball, football, and basketball. So let's do an unboxing. Let's see what we have here. We'll go over, uh, tell you what type of cards I have here. Right, this way. Comes with a hundred cards. Plus one new unopened pack, which I'll show you guys. So, oh. Here we go. Let's see what I have here. First card is actually a Steven uh, Stroudsburg card. This is uh, from 2011 uh, Tops. Seth Smith. Jeremy Affelt. Chris Carpenter. Jordan Lyles. Brett Jackson. Josh Bell. You can see these cards are, you know, unpacked already. On open, uh, these are open cards already. Matt Fried. Interesting. Fleer, nineteen ninety, Wally Backman. This is, um, you know, after he played with the Mets, with the Twins. Jack Clark. Jerry Reed. Mark Wohler's former closer from the uh, Braves. This is actually about 90, um, looks like number 90, uh, 92 upper deck. Jeff Blauser. Wilson Alvarez. Danny Jackson. Derek Lavernus, Shane Monahan, Sandy Alomar Jr., longtime catcher in the major leagues, Jody Davis, Wally Whitehurst, Fred Lynn, Don Jack, uh, Don 
uh, Don Robinson, Bob Forsh, Craig Worthington, Spike Owen, Steve Olin, Dennis Martinez, 1990 scorecard. Big league career started in 1976. Uh, up until that point, based on this card, the highest win total was for the 88 Expos. Uh, 15, 15 wins, but 13 losses that year. I believe, um, you know, long career. Started off from 76. Jose Canseco. 90 scorecard as well. Bobby Witt. Michael Oham. Harold Reynolds. Don Ross. Diamond Kings. Number 21. Nothing really that kind of uh, sticks out of me yet. Uh, by Leaf. Pedro Guerrero. Bernard Gilkey. Danny Salazar, Ken Caminiti. Tragic story about Ken Caminiti, what happened uh, when he passed away a couple years ago. Uh, addiction uh, took over, it seems like. Sad story. Pedro Guerrero, Jim Gartner, Steve Avery. Steve Avery, you know, Steve Avery, um, John Smoltz. Tom Glavin, all these cats, well, all these guys. And Avery, unfortunately, did suffer some uh, injuries. Uh, never really uh, was able to put it together because of that injury uh, that he you know, accomplished there, uh, that he got, you know, injuries set him back. Uh, Steve Avery, 90, um, uh, it's 91 score. I think even Tops right now is the only manufacturer that makes company, uh, that makes... Um, Baseball cards, believe it or not. Ellis Burks. Carlos Martinez. Pat Clements. Willie McGee. Edgar Martinez. Newly elected Hall of Famer. Edgar Martinez. This is actually card 148. Tops. Uh, we're looking at tops, 1990 tops. Started in the, in the minors in 83 in Bellingham, 84 Wasu, 85 Chattanooga, 85 Calgary, Chattanooga in 86, Calgary in 87, Mariners in uh, 87, back to Calgary, 88, back up with the Mariners in uh, as well as 88, 89, uh, Back in Calgary from 89 as well. So he kind of uh, was up and down for some time there. And over 300 um, average comes a Hall of Famer. Um, he was a third baseman, uh, but he was mostly known as playing DH in his later career. As we, we well know. Interesting to see how much that was worth. I remember, you know, back then I used to look at um, Beckett, uh, these price cards, uh, price guides. Kind of get a gauge of what these cards are worth now. I guess you go to eBay, I guess. Johnny Ray, Bruce Benedict, Mark Portugal. Nationals with a combo of Young and Kearns. BJ Upton. Here's the unopened pack that I will open up. This is actually 1990 uh, Fleer. I'll open that in a little bit. Ichiro. 2012. Chase Utley. Steve Lombard Darcy. Julio Terreon. Joe Nathan, Jason Castro, Aurelis Chapman, Chili Davis. This looks like to be um, 95. Card there. Tops. Ricky Jordan. Don Slot. 
Hall of Famer Tim Raines, uh, actually with the Expos. This could be a good card here. 80, looks like this is um, 88. 88. Don Ross. Jose De Leon. Lee Smith. 83 Cubs. 84 is a long time with the Cubs. Um, you know, looking at his stats here. Saves 29, 33, 33, 31, 36. And this is after uh, up until 87. Daryl Porter. Jerry Harper. Joe Torrey, manager. Baseball card. Record as a manager. Look. 19... Um, 77 with the Mets. 49, 68. 66 and 96 and 78. 79, 63 and 99. 80 Mets. 67, 95. We know what happened with uh, Joe Torre later on. Glenn Wilson, the Yuck Man, Dennis Eckersley. Barry Lyons, neck hair and everything. Scott Randowski. Jim Tomey, Hall of Famer as well. So kind of some nice finds here as well. It all obviously depends on the year that these cards are. Draft picks. Remember Jake Westbrook and Danny Peoples. Last from the past. Craig Lefferts. Scott Erickson. Another Steve Avery card. Brett Gardner, go Yankees. Kyle Schwarber. Kirby Puckett. Ah, this could be a keeper. 